So today's how to build is on some steampunk things. Which is my first. This is actually my first try at steampunk, and I thought it turned out pretty good. So I have which I call Doctor Steam Punk, but it looks like steampunk, and he has his brick arm sword, and he's all steampunk decked out and stuff. Then I built his two crazy clockwork cannons. And so I'm going to show you how to make all these. So let's start with the cannons. And so the same thing, so I'll just set them aside. And that's here, I'll just take them apart and show you the pieces. And so the, here are the pieces that you'll need for the crazy clockwork cannons. You need two of these big wagon wheels, although the small ones work too. You need two of these telescope pieces. A uh, gold stud. A uh, gold cone. One of these crank pieces and then one of these uh, like signpost pieces. And so you're going to take this crank piece and attach the wheels on both sides. Then you're going to attach one of the telescopes on the bottom. That's going to that's, that's gonna make it from falling over, keep it from falling over. Then you're going to attach the other telescope on the front like that. Then you're going to attach the gold stud and then the gold cone. Oops. And that's going to be the barrel. And then you're going to attach this triangular piece, the sign on the back, and there you have your crazy clockwork cannons. And so I'll set those aside and show you Dr. Stm Punk himself. So here I'll just disassemble him real quick. I didn't. I only used one custom thing since I tried. I wanted to do it purist, but there's just one thing I thought would look pretty cool. And so, basically, for the head, I used this head that came in the series four main figures, I think, the Explorer head. That's pretty cool. He has like a monocle and stuff. And then I used these legs that were the special edition Star Wars book legs. Although I'm pretty pretty sure any good brown, dark brown legs would work. Then I used this torso, which is from the Prince of Persia series, with dark blay arms and white hands. And for his like hydration pack, um, or like jet pack, whatever you want to call it thing, I used a black one of these space police oxygen tank things. Then for his weapon, I used a brick arms brass rapier, but you can pretty much use any brass thing. Then for his hat, I used this explorer hat. Then for his lower feet, I used these two gold studs stacked on top of each other with a tan tooth. And then the custom thing I did are these dark gray goggles with some e-tape. And so he can like loop them around his neck. So building the figure, you just want to start it like any other Lego figure. And then you're going to want to put the goggles on like that. Then the, uh, the hat, the explorer hat on. And you can use a white one. Oops. And you want to make sure if you use this goggle thing. That, that is behind there. So like that. Huh. So he's having a bit of a problem attaching. There we go. And so you're going to want the goggles kind of hanging loosely around his neck. Then you want to attach these tooth pieces and I kind of do it at an angle like that. And so that makes them taller and they look kind of like pretty cool little gizmos. Um, and then his sword. And there you have Dr. Steve and Punk with his crazy clockwork cannons and so that this is actually one of my first actual steampunk characters and builds and I mean I wouldn't really call it a build but yeah so um thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I see you guys later so bye